The Arctic Tern, Alaska's greatest nomad. It migrates from its northern breeding grounds here to the oceans of Antarctica and back each year, a 12,000 mile journey. It's the longest regular migration by any known animal. This sea swallow feeds in June on salmon smolt and other unsuspecting bait fish. Like the salmon, the tern will return to its birthplace to breed and produce its offspring. When the tern flies south, winter is approaching. The salmon begin to die. Vivid green turns to a kaleidoscope of yellows and oranges. It marks the time for a great feast for the rainbow. Millions of sockeye salmon are laying eggs ensuring the future of their species. When eggs drop, their dinner bell sounds and one of the nation's great coaches knows that this is the best time to fish the Quijack. This river has got some big, big, big uh, fish in it. When you're out there fishing and you see either your indicator go under or, you're, or you get a strike on a, on a swing, I mean, you don't know if that's a 30 or 30 plus fish on there. You know, it, it, it might be. He's just weeks away from the start of another season as the head coach of Gonzaga basketball, joined by buddy Brett Bonham. The fly, hardly a fly, but to match this hatch, glow bugs and beads are the best match for this hatch of salmon eggs. There's a Quijack rainbow we've been chasing right there. What a beaut. Stallion. Look at that guy. The indicator in bead and a dead drift is the system of choice for the trout fishermen in September. But Coach Few lives in the northwest, and swinging flies for steelhead in the tributaries of the Columbia River is a passion of his, a tactic that can also be deadly here. Pound for pound, as strong as anything, uh, you're gonna you're gonna fight, and it's 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 exactly like steelhead, you know. And and these fish are are every bit as strong, and and probably give a better run than most steelhead do, uh, at least by the time they get to where we are. Okay, he's getting a little too close to my... This is the biggest fish I've had, and he's going to eat my fish. The Alaskan brown bear, a rare sighting on the Quijack, but a short flight to Katmai National Park and the Kulik River offers easier fishing for these massive carnivores so they arrive in great numbers. This is the brown bear's most crucial month of the year. The sockeye salmon eaten in September and October will build fat reserves that will get them through the long Alaskan winter ahead. <laughs> Starting five. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I'd sign them all right now if I could. Everything's supersized up here also. It's like going to McDonald's and getting supersized. Uh, bears are bigger, fish are bigger, flies are bigger, uh, bugs are bigger, everything. Once you get one on and get it un unhooked or released, you just want to go back and catch more. Uh, we don't see a lot of guys here sitting on the, on the bench watching this. I mean, they're out fishing, so fish hard. Flat. It's over on that side, Brett, where nobody's been. You gotta, you gotta wade bravely. Like the Queej, the sockeyes in the Kulik mean that opportunistic rainbows are plentiful, and swinging huge patterns imitating salmon flesh can be bountiful. It's, it's really something to see the, uh, the whole life cycle, uh, the salmon and the, and the bears and, and uh, the trout. Uh, reacting to the different uh, uh, lifetimes of the salmon and just fascinating in that way, I think. 16 and 10 and a half. Unbelievable. This is just, uh, I like that red stripe, man. Look at that. 
Only God can paint that. Funny. The bears leave the area, and this courageous bull moose arrives. He can care less about the salmon. He's looking for a mate. Fuck, look at that thing. That is a monster. Look at him. Let's see a scrap. Bear on moose. <laughs> look at this wildlife deal we got going. Are you kidding me? <laughs> The allure of Alaska's largest rainbows. It's back to the Quijack, and with it, 50 mile an hour winds, sideways rain, and trout who could care less. They're hungry. Oh no, he just hammered it. And took about uh, 40, 50 yards of the painting. Came out of the water about halfway across the river. Notice the fat belly hanging from this egg and flesh eating machine. He's gained pounds, literally, in the last few weeks. Wait aggressively if you want a good fish. Shit. Getting kind of deep. He's just a classic. He is an absolute classic human being. No matter what you do with him, uh, it's always entertaining. And, and it's great, you know, he, he hasn't had an experience like this. He doesn't get out. This is his first uh, major trip. Get the net out of the butt. Yeah. God, I've never seen a net die like this. Slide him. Okay. Slide him. Okay, it's a full count, please. I can't get well. <laughs> Look at that, B.A. Feel you. Nicely done. Uh, way to go. That. Holy cow. That's a nice fish. <laughs> yeah. There we go again. Yeah. One more. <laughs> oh. 30 inch rainbows, the benchmark for a trophy in Alaska. The Quijack has few rivals in this state for big fish. Seasons on the fly will be back after this.